Hi guys and girls and welcome to Magic. My name is Thomas Hansen and I'm one of the magicians over at the ISTA. And in this YouTube video, I am going to show you the task schedule in Magic. Now, assuming you can get Magic up running, you can uh, log into your uh, dashboard and you will find beneath uh, tools here, you will find a tasks menu item. I have one task here. Uh, I'm just going to delete it to make sure we start out at the same point. Uh, at this point, I can actually create a new task, foo-task, and I can uh, create hyper lambda, any amount of hyper lambda I want to associate with this task. Of course, hyper lambda being a Turing complete programming language allows me to do literally whatever I want to inside of this uh, particular task. However, uh, for this particular video, I'm just gonna schedule the task by clicking the clock icon in the bottom right corner. Uh, check off repeating and type 5 dot seconds create and my task is now scheduled to being executed uh, repeatedly over and over again every five seconds if i now wait uh, five seconds and i go to my log of course i will see that i have uh, log entries uh, which are being created by my task now of course i can also um, schedule the task to be using all sorts of different repetition patterns. In addition to that, I can also choose an absolute date into the future. For instance, this is uh, one week from now, at which point now the task is uh, scheduled to being executed seven days down the road. Now, uh, that is uh, all good and um, all nice. Uh, however, um, the task scheduler or pipeline the tasks have another trait which is extremely interesting, I uh, think myself, which is that uh, it is uh, possible to dynamically create tasks as you see fit. Let me illustrate this concept by uh, loading up uh, my create tasks snippet here, which I have uh, saved in my evaluator uh, snippets collection. Uh, notice there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to an article where you can actually find this snippet in case you want to reproduce what I am doing now. Because this is a snippet that I have saved, uh, especially for this particular YouTube video. What this snippet basically does, it iterates 5,000 times in a while loop. Basically says while uh, dot nu is less than 5,000, execute this lambda. And this lambda, of course, creates a random GUID, which it uses as the um, name of my task, then it creates a task that simply logs uh, to my audit log. And then it increments uh, the number. So let's execute this guy. Uh, and uh, for the record, it will take some time to execute it, obviously, because it's creating 5,000 tasks with uh, schedules, implying it's actually going to have to create uh, 10,000 MySQL uh, database records. However, once it's done, we can actually check our uh, tasks uh, menu item here on our dashboard. And we can actually see that we now have 5,000 tasks. And of course, all of these tasks are the exact same uh, Hyper Lambda. Uh, however, uh, the purpose of this little demonstration is to illustrate the performance uh, traits of the task scheduler, allowing you to literally create thousands of repeating tasks that are repeating over and over again. And of course, if we look at this particular Hyper Lambda here, which I actually executed now, you will see that it repeats once every 120 seconds. So at this point, we need to wait for basically two minutes, uh, at which point we will start seeing items popping up in our log. Let's uh, see when uh, next uh, repetition uh, execution for this is uh, 31.43. Okay, we gotta wait. Uh, another minute uh, apparently however uh, while we do that uh, let me illustrate uh, some parts of uh, the repetition pattern uh, of tasks here you see you can repeat a task every five dot seconds or 10 of course or 15 or you can repeat it every minutes or you can repeat it every days or weeks or hours etc etc 
In addition, uh, you can apply uh, alternative repetition patterns, which you can find underneath docs.aista.com if you go to the um, magic.lambda. By the way, I clicked the hamburger menu in the top right corner here. Uh, you can uh, click the magic.lambda.scheduler, at which point you can find all sorts of different repetition patterns. For instance, if I want my task to execute every Thursday, 10 p.m., there is a repetition pattern for that. You can see uh, underneath repeating tasks here in the documentation how to actually create your own repetition patterns. So with that out of the way, let's uh, check to see if our tasks have started logging. And they have. As you can see here now, I have 26,918 <laughs> log items in my log. Of course, of the exact same value. Uh, the brilliance of the Hyper Lambda inside of the task isn't really the uh, purpose of this video. It's more to illustrate the performance traits of the task scheduler. And if I refresh, now you see 26,980. Let's see how many we have now. Okay, now we, well, apparently, 180 seconds from now, we're going to have 5,000 more log items. Why? Because we have 5,000 tasks. So this lends itself to um, business process workflows. Uh, and uh, the reasons why is because of uh, the ability that uh, Hype Lambda tasks has, to, uh, has in regards to, to being uh, automatically generated by other parts of your hyperland. I'm implying I could have, for instance, the registration form where I actually create and decorate and persist a task, effectively becoming a persistent function invocation that does some sort of like action and then when some other action occurs at a completely different part in my system, I can actually dynamically execute that particular task, completely encapsulating the business logic of what is supposed to occur whenever that other trigger occurs in my system. Now, uh, for the record, uh, at this point, you, you might want to delete your tasks. <laughs> Why? Because, I mean, having 5,000 tasks, uh, creating log entries every 120 seconds is inevitably over time going to result in that your server's memory and hard drive is exhausted. So I'm just going to delete all my tasks here, at which point uh, afterwards I will see that I have no tasks left in my tasks menu item here. So uh, let's wait until uh, this guy has executed and then let's uh, have a look at our tasks menu item. And as you can see here now, no tasks. And that is basically the uh, one-on-one introduction to the Hyper Lambda task scheduler. Uh, yet again, there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to where you can find a code uh, necessary to reproduce uh, what I did here now locally on your own machine. Uh, if you want to, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.